Folks at home, welcome to Tank Tuesday, and this is what you call a house divided. I like to look at it in football terms, and if you're familiar with the Iron Bowl, if you're a Crimson Tide fan, you'd be sleeping on this end of the house, and if you're an Auburn Tiger fan, you'd be sleeping over here where Bonnie's at. And the only reason I say this is because this is Clyde, he has to pull for the tide. But what we've had to do, we had to put a divider in our tank because our fish started fighting each other, but we have found a solution. We are gonna move Bonnie and Clyde out of this tank into a backyard pond, so stay tuned. We will have some video footage of our backyard here soon. Clyde's sitting here eyeing some of these minnows. First, let's go check in on our other tanks. This is our 55 gallon tank with Moby front and center as always. And guys, check this out. Our cats love drinking out of the minnow tank. Do you think it's just because that tastes like fish? Like maybe fish water or something? I don't know, but our cats love drinking out of that tank. So we got our turtle tank over here, but we have a special event planned for Moby later on. It's a little science experiment. We're gonna see if Moby can pop a balloon and eat what's inside of it. Here's a look at our turtle tank. This is our northern black knob map turtle. And this little guy right here is a character too. I'm gonna show you a quick clip. He is a daredevil. He finally made it up there on the high structure that we have in the tank. And he is not afraid of going off the top rope or the high dive. I don't know how he's gonna get down. Nope, he's thinking about making a run for it. <laughs> Jeez, Bowser. That's diving off the top rope. So before we get into showing you our backyard pond setup, a couple of the ideas that we all had in the last video was putting them in the Bass Pro tank. And we have a Bass Pro Shops literally about 30 seconds from our house here in Spanish Fort. So I had to take a trip down there just to see if we put them in the Bass Pro tank, what their tank mates would have looked like and how they would have gotten along in there. So let's roll some of that footage now. So there were definitely some other size fish in there that were just like, I'd say, Bonnie and Sheriff. You know, some of the bass were about two pounds. There was a pound bluegill like Sheriff, so they could have fit in this tank. But there were also some bass that could eat both of them. Look at the size of these giant bass. One of these is at least 13 to 14 pounds. But there's no doubt that these are double digit bass and my gosh, I don't know where these things came from or what they ate, but they are some ancient looking fish. Got that yawn for you. But instead of putting them in the Bass Pro tank, you all talked us into a backyard pond, so let's go check out some ideas for that. All right, so me and Liz are gonna give you a backyard tour, and we're gonna talk about the spots that we would like to put it. So this is Liz's hanging out area. She rocks the baby and stuff all the time right here. Her idea is... Come on, let me show you. So I would like to have a good view of, of the pond, so I would put it out here in the middle and have a patio here in the front the pond in the middle, and then a waterfall on the back side of it. All right. And Stephen showed him a picture of what I was thinking. Okay, yeah, this is kind of a picture of what it would look like if we put it right here dead center. And the positives of doing this are we wouldn't have any trees around. You see, we got two, three big trees right here that we wouldn't have to worry about leaves falling into it. So this is a good option right here. Now, what I was thinking is over here on this hill, and I want to have a big waterfall. So I was thinking about putting a really good sized waterfall right there or either right here. So this tree has been dying this past year. So we're about to cut it down anyway. So we could put the waterfall here or here, but I'm kind of thinking maybe putting it right here and then have the pond come out and then maybe even loop around and come down here. Maybe putting some rock and gravel up there and it having a big flow to it. So the main pond area would be right here and then maybe just a little stream off of it coming down the side of the house but you wouldn't be able to see it from the back porch we may still put a patio right out in this area that way we could come sit on the patio of rocking a rocking chair and enjoy watching bonnie and clyde so leave us your comments down below of what you would like to see so the first thing we're going to have to do is cut down this tree we've already got a guy scheduled to come out and cut it down and one other thing you know we can't really put it back in these areas right here which would be a nice place with some shade because of all the trees you don't want to put a pond right up under trees you're going to be constantly getting all the leaves and stuff out of it so we're going to try to put it in an open area and no matter which place we put it here or here we're planning on putting a little you know a bridge and some structure in it and lily pads and things like that that way the basket can get out of the sun and up under some shade check out Milo over there he's scoping out good pond locations 
So folks, leave us a comment on where you think we should put it. Here is the complete backyard. And don't worry, we're also going to make it pretty big. So, you know, that photo I showed you in the last video, it's not going to be an 8 by 10 or anything. We're going to make it pretty good size. All right, so what do you do when it's pouring down rain outside and you can't go bass fishing? You have experiments with your pet bass to see if you can learn a little bit of something about them. And today, Moby, we're about to do an experiment. This is something I've been wanting to do for a while, and it involves water balloons. So about six months ago, everybody was tagging me about this post on Instagram. I'd love to give the guy credit, but I can't find it anymore. So if any of you know which post I'm talking about, link it down in the comments below. But a guy put a water balloon with some minnows, these guys down here. So he filled his balloon with some minnows or goldfish, and he put it in his aquarium and some other type of fish. It wasn't a bass, but some other type busted it and got to the minnows. So we're going to start off with our most aggressive bass, Moby. The hard part is going to be figuring out how to fit minnows inside of this thing and get water in it. It's been years since I've played with water balloons, but I think this is going to be a perfect experiment for a rainy day. I felt like a kid again going into the store to buy balloons. So I got a big variety of them because I didn't know exactly which size to get. These are the smaller ones. These are the big ones. I have a feeling the white ones may be the easiest for Moby to see through, but I'm not sure. I do know that it's going to be hard to get a minnow or a couple minnows in a balloon that size. So I think we're about to do just a trial first and see what it takes to get minnows inside of these balloons. So Liz is gonna kill me because I've already made a mess in here, but I found our python hose attachment. That's what we do our water changes with. And then I got this little guy right here and that's gonna help me fill the water balloons up. All right, here we go. Let's test one of these big balloons first. Making a mess, making a mess. All right, so the orange is definitely not going to work. It's not see-through. All right, next up, we're going to try the white one. Nope, still ain't going to work. Latex is too thick, so we're going to have to go with the smaller balloons, which is going to make it really difficult to get a minnow in it. All right, we're going to try the little white one. I know you're going to be able to see through these. I just don't know if we're going to be able to get a minnow inside of it. Oh, yeah, that'll work. That's perfect. You can see straight through that. So my last idea didn't work, but I think I've got the solution. I've got a funnel here that is big enough to slide a minnow down in. So if we can just get a little bit of water in there without it popping off, I think that's going to be the trick. All right, I just took that piece off. We're going to try to go straight funnel. Does not work. All the water sitting here in my funnel. All right, we're eventually going to get this. All right, I definitely found the best way, I think, to do it. You take a funnel, fill your funnel up, and although the balloon doesn't fill up, I think I've got an idea. So you see the funnel's just filling up with water. I think I'm going to take this straw and blow the water down into the balloon. Let's try that. All right, I think it's going to work. Insert the minnow. He's in there, but no, <laughs> no water. That's good. We got the minnow in, even though we don't have any water. Now we can add the water. So it's not exactly like I thought it would be. The more I added water, the more it seemed like it was about to pop. So we're going to try this technique out first. A little bit of water, a lot of balloon. I don't even know that it's going to sink. It's probably going to float. Let's let some air out. Let's try that. We'll let some air out. There we go. So a lot of the air is coming out now. There we go. How about that? Much better. Alrighty, here we go. We're about to drop it in. In three, two, one. Warm. Definitely on it. Don't know if he spotted the minnow yet. Nope, he says, what kind of tricks are y'all playing on me? He hadn't looked at the balloon yet, because when Moby sees a minnow, he's hardcore. I may need to take some more air out of it that will sink down. I know if you put it, if you fill it up with nothing but water, it will sink. I think he sees it now. He definitely does. You gonna eat it, Moby? You gonna strike it? Uh oh, I'm thinking about it. 
All right, let's take some air out of the balloon, and I think when it sinks, he might be a little bit more interested. All right, I removed all the air out, so it should sink this time. What do you think, Bobby? Get in. I honestly think I now, if he doesn't bite this, I don't think he can see him good. Uh-oh, that thing may go down there and pop. If it's one of those pieces of sharp wood down there. But I do like the way it's floating around. I think I need to fill it up with more water. That way you can see it. It's a little bit tough to see. If you catch it just right with the light, you'll see it. But I don't think Moby's even interested. All right, folks, I think I found the trick. I changed out to a yellow balloon. I filled it up with more water so it stretched the plastic out a little bit. You can definitely see the minnow now, Moby. Take two. Moby, the minnow's in the balloon. I think he sees it. All right, we still got the white one in there. I'm about to drop a yellow one in there with a the minnow. I don't think he's gonna make it much longer, so we're just gonna pop it. I'm gonna try to teach Moby that you have to pop the balloon. So we're gonna pop it down here on this piece of wood and see what happens. There he is, Moby. Don't eat the plastic. Got him. Now that he sees it, I'm gonna get this other plastic out. Now it's time to try it on the big girl, Bonnie. She's the only other fish I think I have besides Sheriff that might would eat it. So we're gonna put it in the net and try to trick her and that's how she normally gets fed. So we're gonna roll it right off in there. Nope. Bonnie said, I'm old enough to know about these tricks, these shenanigans. I don't know, I'm gonna step back and see if she's interested. Mm -mm. And I thought for a second, maybe. Doesn't look like the big girl has much interest at all. She's an old wise one. All right, Moby, we're gonna give you one last shot. I'm just gonna hold it up here at the surface where you normally eat. And we're gonna see if you can spot him. Come get him, Moby. Come and get him. I know you see him. All right, Moby does not understand the laws of physics. I'm giving up on him. He sees him, he's getting close, but he just doesn't know what to do to get him out of that balloon. So we're gonna pop this one again. Let Moby have his feast. We gave it the good old college try. And he's off, Moby. No, don't eat the white balloon. Eat the minnow. Got him. That balloon was pretty tough to pop. I don't know that if Moby even tried to do it, he would have been able to pop it. I don't know what type of fish that was in the other video, but I'm gonna try to share that with y'all in the next upcoming video. Let me get this balloon out of there before he tries to eat it. All right, so we gave it the good old college try. It was definitely something interesting to do on a rainy day like today. We failed, but maybe we'll attempt it with Sheriff and Clyde here in the future. But leave a comment below if you enjoy stuff like this with other little tests or science experiments that we can try in our tanks. Moby, I'm disappointed you couldn't get inside of that balloon. So a lot of you recommended this company called Aquascape. They do a lot of backyard ponds, water gardens, koi ponds, and things of that nature. A lot of y'all recommended them, so we looked them up, and we actually have a meeting with them tomorrow. He's going to come out here and look at our backyard. We're going to talk about some ideas and possibilities. So leave us a comment down below on things you might like to see in that backyard pond setup because we're going to be talking about it, and as soon as he can get out here and help us build it, we're going to build it so that way we can move these fish into it, and everybody will be happy. We're also going to put Put Moby here in this 300 gallon tank so he'll have a lot more room to swim around him and Sheriff I'm sure are gonna be best savage buds like always so leave those comments below I really hope you enjoyed the video hope you look forward to the things that are coming up for this tank Tuesday series be sure to hit that subscribe button and we'll see you all next week Bonnie and Clyde were pretty looking people but I can tell you people they were the devil's children Bonnie and Clyde